I think that, uh, you know, studying film at a, an early an age as possible um, specifically allows you to sort of get a sense of what aspect of filmmaking you're interested in. Uh, communications in general is such a vast area encompassing TV, movies, radio, all sorts of things that I think that, uh, you know, getting a sense earlier allows you to focus and refine what you want to do and what you don't want to do. And the earlier you get a sense of, of a direct path, I think the, the more you'll be able to, um, you know, focus your energies on, you know, trying to achieve those career goals in particular. I feel that our, our, our equipment is uh, it's pretty uh, comparable to what you'd find in most commercial facilities. Uh, obviously, you know, with the transition more to high definition, there there is some gap uh, between what we offer. But uh, you know, we, we do have digital gear. Uh, we do have some pretty high-end cameras for our studio productions, as well as um, the lenses are these Fujinon lenses, which are, are a really nice lens. Um, the, the, we've improved the lighting system. So really, overall, the entire studio facility uh, was revamped recently. So we, we do have some, the, the updates really have made some considerable improvements to keep us closer to that uh, commercial grade facility. If you use better equipment, the film looks better overall. And if it looks more professional, already people look at it a different way and respect it more. I use the audio from here and wow, it makes it a whole lot different. So the equipment here definitely does make a difference. I was like so blown away by like how cool and like professional it looked at this school that like instead of just like taking these awesome cameras and not knowing what to do with it I like really like tried my best to like open up all the little like hatches on the side of the camera and the little like slide open bars they got they got like a secret hidden menu pad on the camera all this like uh, secret stuff I just like explored the whole thing I changed all the like settings to really check it out and make it real cool I think having all the equipment here definitely like increased my desire because we have a lot of uh, more, I guess, state of the art, so to speak. Um, I don't think it really affects the films that you make. I really think you could take any camera and really make an interesting film. It just might not say look as great, but I think just the fact that we know that we have access to all this stuff definitely just like adds to the drive of wanting to make films. Alright, today I'm just basically, uh, right now I'm walking around with the camera just trying to get a feel for what goes into setting up uh, Buttfest. Um, yeah, so we decide to have like a, a wide shot camera which is under a tarp right now but that's going to cover our audio and basically what's going on and then I'm going to be walking around with this camera here just kind of getting more close up and more of a deeper feel. So yeah, right now it's just we're setting up and then uh, I'll be filming the bands later. I made it because of my history project and, and Q got a better grade on me with a freaking poster so I'm kind of pissed about that. I don't like George Washington Musical. I'm sick of it. It sucks. People like stupid ass movies. Seriously, look at most of the movies around here. I'm being brutally honest right now. I find very little of them to be entertaining. So, yeah. I was amped, mostly, not because I won, but because every other filmmaker was freaking pissed. First of all, I was younger than all of them. Most of them are like in college. Second of all, I'm wearing a damn plastic gold crown. So that kind of just like this jackass in a freaking crown just beat me. DV Club, it's different than the class because the class you kind of set projects and set things.
but club is more experimenting around, getting involved with different competitions, because that's really what amateur filmmakers do. They start entering all these competitions, which is what we're doing now. Well, it makes me do stuff. Uh, the class in the club, the class I'm in now, digital video too, makes me obviously do projects for work, but the club is what makes me do like anything. Like I, as part of the club, I could like randomly just be like doing sound for some seniors' videos like last year or acting in someone's thing that they had to get done. And so because of that, it's not just that I'm always directing, I'm learning every single type of skill, having lots of fun. Suddenly like there's way more movies available that I'm like in or part of or like enjoy watching. Well, um, I really enjoy being in the DV club. I mean, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get to a lot of the meetings, but in the beginning of the year when I had access to rides and whatnot, I helped out with some of the projects that they do. And um, they don't always turn out great, I'm not gonna lie, but it really does give you that experience of working in the field and working with people that you don't really know. Cause I mean, I worked with a bunch of sophomores I never even heard of. And uh, it, it's just, it allows for good experience. After uh, high school, I'm definitely going to a college for film. Um, I'm looking at a few right now. Uh, it's definitely what I want to do with my life. I mean, I also have a love for music, but I'm definitely putting film at the top of the list now, which is kind of cool because when I came into high school, I had no desire. Now, that's what I want to do with my life. Uh, as far as like possible careers in film, I love editing and I love to edit a lot, but I've also found myself to just want to do everything. So basically, I'd probably be happy just being on a film set but editing or producing, even cinematography, I think that would just be a bonus too, on top of editing. I hope to, either screenwriting or an actual film production, or a lot of colleges have film clubs and I definitely want to get involved in something like that. Um, anything is really cool, but I, I love cinematography. Directing is cool, but I would much prefer being behind the camera setting up shots. I mean, Mr. Sale even said that I have an eye for shots and stuff, and that's what I really like to do. So cinematography is my thing. I'm gonna try and go to college for film and then try my best to uh, grow up to be a film director. But like whatever comes, I know that this is the field for me and this is uh, what I wanna do. And no matter how far I get, it will definitely be because of uh, here and like the experiences here that got me started and helped me achieve it. I actually plan on moving on to Broadway, creating my own Broadway musicals. <laughs> Done. It's a wrap.